Okay, so we're back from putting the wig on and I've taken the tape off. But I didn't mention this to you. You know, because the um, hairline has the ridges, what I did do is I kind of just put a slice of the tape there and I cut it and then I cut it around that ridge. So I didn't mention that to you guys and I don't know if y'all do it, but to me that just seems to work out so much better so now when I I don't have to go back and do so much of a touch up so and I'm just gonna pull that off so you see that and that just it fits it right around there that's just uh, what I do so and I'm gonna put a little bit uh, I'd already closed my top up but I wanted to show y'all that but I'm gonna put a little bit of the ultra hold on that part too Just a little bit. Okay. So, now I'm going to clean my hands. Just because I'm getting ready. I don't want no oils on my fingers. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it And the last time I put this on, I had got hairs stuck in it. So I kind of want to be careful with that. Gosh, you can just feel it, grab it. Okay. Oh, that's where it hadn't got tacky yet. Hopefully that'll be okay. And I keep touching it. See, it's a good thing that I have no oils. See that little hair right there? Maybe I should make sure that I don't. I should have clipped it all back. But I did it. It's always one part I miss. I love it, love it, love it. I like the Ultra Hole better than anything I've ever used. <clears throat> love it. I had did a video. And for some, well, it was too long. That's what it was. The video was too long, so I couldn't load it. And I did a really good installation with the edges. And so I just posted that without any information, but that's what it, that was about. I took it off, but I'll, I'll probably post it on this one. So just know that the second part that shows just the edges is not this installation, but with this in installation, I will show you the edges. So, but I'm going to put a couple of curls in there. try to hurry up with this because I don't want to go over my time limit. Although I don't take much to curl her. And I'm not trying to get no big curls or nothing. I just want it lightly bumped. Whole little spot, didn't I? 
Well, that's what happens when you wish. But this is my favorite, favorite, favorite wig. Until I get my glueless. But when my glueless comes in, that's when I'm going to be happy. Okay, I was not prepared for this because I have nowhere to sit her down. So let me move all this stuff over. Blump, blump. There we go. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to rush through this. <laughs> Because I do want to get to show you what the edges look like. And that was just a little bit of spritz that I've used just to kind of make that part hold a little bit better a little bit better <sighs> I like this curling iron um, it goes up to 400 degrees and before I would wear my full lace wigs I would always wear them in a ponytail well I'm away from that now when I wear them I do put curls in them and I wear them down now but you know what it's I, they're still not long and I'm not really used to anything long so I just do this length this works better for me okay so I got that done and I normally would take my toothbrush and then I would just kind of pull the baby hairs down. Of course, I don't have my toothbrush. Go figure. So, the baby hairs on this wig I made myself because I don't like the long baby's hairs. I just like little bitty baby hairs because that looks more believable. So I'll have to get my toothbrush that I don't have but there you go guys and I will go ahead and post at the end of this video the other video that I show what the edges look like but I want to get up close so you can see that Oops, I'm gonna have to clean that up right there let me go ahead and do some cleaning up and I'll be back but there it is in a nutshell love it love it love it so you guys have a great day bye